Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I've only just discovered that January the 2nd is World Introvert Day. Um, so um, named um, back in 2012 when the first day occurred and it was chosen J January the 2nd because it's a day when introverts need to recharge after the socialising of, of um, Christmas and New Year. Uh, and that, I think, is one of the ways in which it's possible to distinguish between introverts and extroverts. Introverts tend to want to recharge their batteries by having some alone time or time just with one other person, whereas extroverts uh, recharge very uh, powerfully by, by being with other people and finding the stimulations other people bring them helps to give them new energy. And that's uh, how I think Carl Jung initially saw it. Carl Jung, who in his book Psychological Types, um, invented the distinction. Um, he said that introverts viewed the world subjectively, mainly from within, and uh, extroverts objectively. What was external was important to them. Um, th these are distinctions which um, uh, have a genetic base Probably, uh, scientific research on identical twins suggests that there is a difference in the way the cortex um, is stimulated. Um, it's um, a, an internal stimulation um, if you're an introvert and an external one uh, if you're an extrovert. But I think the important point, of course, is that we're all somewhere on that spectrum. Carl Jung said that um, if anyone was either a pure introvert or a pure extrovert, they'd have to be in a lunatic asylum. It's clear that it's the combination of, of these qualities in us that makes us each unique and we're each uniquely somewhere on that spectrum. And one of the interesting things about life really is to, is if we think perhaps we're more introvert than extrovert, is to explore what it's like um, um, pushing the boundaries a bit and becoming a bit more extrovert uh, and uh, uh, Vice versa, if we if we find that our stimulation is mostly from being with other people, perhaps exploring a little bit more what it might be like to spend more time alone, looking inside ourselves a bit. And I, I think I think the um, way in which we go through life changes. Jung, Jung thought that being an introvert was more valuable and something which emerged more in later life. Um, as we become a little bit more self-reflective. Um, and certainly, I think um, it is, certainly I would, I would say that I have um, changed in the balance that there is in my uh, experience between the two as I've got a bit older. Anyway, I just thought I'd raise these issues for us to think about today on world, well, it isn't world introvert today. Maybe one might say that I'm too introverted to have noticed that it, it had passed, but that's not true. But that's the sort of thing that sometimes happens. People accuse introverts of um, being so caught up in themselves they don't know what's going on around them. And extroverts accuse introverts of being so in, involved in social activity and in engaging with others that they never stop to look inside themselves. Uh, but I think one of the things we need to do on World Introvert Day is recognise that each uh, of, of these ways of approaching life are valuable and, and in their own way beautiful. To celebrate the enormous variety that there is in human life, uh, particularly in, in relationship to this balance between these two things. Uh, and and to, to, to have the confidence to know that wherever you are, wherever I am, on that spectrum, that's fine. It might be worth exploring a little bit more the other um, web being, but let's accept who we are and accept other people for who they are and delight in it.